Oh, it's J Critic time on the show. Whether we got movies to review or games to be playing for all of your views, it's now J Critic time. Oh, it's J Critic time. It's J Critic time on the channel. Hello, I'm a J Critic. I remember because I have to. Star Wars Rogue One. I'm gonna try to keep the first little bit of this uh, spoiler free, um, and then we're gonna go right into more a more spoiler sort of section. So, yeah, keep that in mind. I'm also eating popcorn because why the fuck not? Um, overall, this is sort of an open thoughts, opinions, um, kind of thing. Um, just generally for uh, for you guys, if you guys want to see it, I'll give you a reason why. If you don't want to see it, good luck. Um. So yeah, I'm going to try to make the first five minutes spoiler free. Um, and I don't know why Disney didn't just start with this one to give us faith that they could portray Star Wars well. Because I think this portrays Star Wars amazingly. You know, and, um, I will say this. I won't say who the cameo characters are yet. Obviously, I'm going to wait the five minutes and then sort of go into it. But, um, yeah, overall, it was really good. Um, this, this portrays Star Wars better than The Force Awakens. But The Force Awakens did was, it was a terrible knockoff of The New Hope. Um, which um, was good and was bad. Um, it did a good job of sucking you into the world, which is something Star Wars always exceeds and always excels at, regardless of if it's done by George Lucas, or even Disney, um, they did a good job there, but, uh, I'm not really, you know, Rogue, uh, Rogue One made me enjoy it after I left the movie theater, uh, to me, I, I don't know if I got the same feeling with, um, I don't know if I got that same feeling with, uh, uh, The Force Awakens, um, especially when you see, um, you know, somebody actually rewrote a New Hope script to fit The Force Awakens. So, um, that's actually kind of sad, if you really think about it, but you can be right. Yeah. That was sad. Um, but I don't feel you can do that with Rogue One. Oh. You know... And this can lead to so many other things. Um, if I had to give a guess of which Star Wars project uh, Disney's going to do next, they're going to do probably, I want to say, I'm going to say they're going to do um, the second... Um, Star Wars Force Awakens series of movies. Um, we're going to go back to Rey and find out what happened to her there. My best guess. Um, 
30 seconds down on the uh, clock. Uh, we are going to head into spoiler, um, spoilers at the 5 minute mark. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, so overall it was a good movie. Uh, I definitely recommend going to see it. If you don't feel like watching the movie though, in about 10 seconds you'll hear what I fully think of the uh, spoilers and everything. Uh, everything you want to know about it will be in... Oh, so you stuck around? Alright then, I guess I want the movie spoiled for you. Alright. Alright, I get it. It's a, it's a movie that's really expensive, and I imagine it's going to be in theaters for a long, long time, so. Muck up, this is going to be a light speed ride. All in all, there were like two characters that were really good. Um, I find it interesting how they tried to make the rebellion look, like, bad at one point. I, I don't know. I don't know how I want to feel about that. And they tried this with the prequels too. It just doesn't work. Oh, it just doesn't work. Oh, it just, just, you, just, you just don't do that. But anyways, um... Cameo characters for this movie were Darth Vader, Princess Leia, R2-D2, and C-3PO. I think there were some other ones that I just don't recognize. I could be wrong. Um. This movie was bold. Um, there's not a whole lot of, uh, j j there's no Jedi. There's only, like, Darth Vader. At most. Um, give me a second. Ah, there we go. There we go. Um, so yeah, I was actually kind of surprised there was only really Darth Vader as far as uh, the Force powers are concerned, and um, yeah. Stormtrooper meme, I think, is officially over. Although that one blind guy was awesome. Uh, I can't fully remember his name, but he was amazing. and He had amazing lines throughout the whole thing. I don't, you know. I'm only just starting to get into movies and stuff, so... It's going to take me a while to really recognize those good and bad actors and stuff. You know, so, it'll take me a while, but I think I'll get there. Um, overall, um, the movie was like two and a half hours long. Um, which is really long, and this still has to upload, so... You might not see this until tomorrow. I have no idea when you'll get to see this, but I'll try to make it as soon as possible for you guys. Or I'll do a surprise and I'll put this at the very first. I'll put this as the very first episode of Star Wars Month. Who knows? You'll have to wait and see. I might just do that. Anyways, um, and all of the new characters died, uh, by the hands of the Death Star. Oh, wait, I forgot. Every character died. Yes, every character died. That was fun. Oh, that was fun. I really am tempted to go back to New Hope just to see if we can see what Leia has in her hands. Um, it was a crazy movie. Um, it was fun. 
And I do promise a, a more professional um, Jake Critic review in the near future. I'm just... I was just so blown away and captivated by this movie that I just, I had to do something about it because it was a good movie and I think you guys should all know. So, even if after all these spoilers, you still want to go see it, I would recommend it. I'm the Jay Critic and I remember it because I have to.